Hi there. This video is a dive into construction for the forward prongs for my LEGO model, Interference. It's a companion to the build overview and cockpit videos I've already published. In due course, I'll have a parts list and model file available at galacticplastics.com. Alright, let's build out uh, one of the prongs. Uh, this is the starboard one. That's what this is going to look like when we're finished. Uh, to give you a sense of what we're about to do. Uh, I've taken the port one apart. Uh, not all the way down, uh, but some of the major pieces out. Uh, just to give a taste uh, for some of the construction. But this is what we're going for. And on the ports, uh, one, uh, we'll start with the center section. So the uh, strength here is coming from the, largely the series of brackets. So in dark blay here, you can see at the bottom, uh, a one by two, two by two inverted brackets, uh, one by two to one by two brackets. Gray continue all along the, the, to the front. Uh, and then plates are built up in that. So those two different angles are giving us a little bit of strength uh, that are going to sit at the center of this prong. Uh, there's uh, in the back here, uh, this these uh, panels are a channel into which the forward swept wing uh, is going to fit just a little bit. Uh, there's some brackets here that are giving us these 65 degrees um, later that that unit will be swept out at. Uh, and then uh, here along the front, uh, these tan uh, bits are uh, one by uh, one by one bricks with adjacent side studs. Uh, so they're 90 degrees off. And that's giving us connection down into this into these plates, as well as receptacle later that's going uh, to come in from this side. And then finally, I don't know if it's catching the light, uh, but there's all kinds of jogs and fun things happening in here uh, to give us the essentially 18 degree flat slope uh, in white. Okay. So then to this unit, connect in uh, this portion. So we've got this uh, crane arm, uh, which is connected in uh, to um, plates. Got a, a big one by four brick with side studs here. Uh, some, uh, and then a lot of this dark azure here are brackets. So the um, uh, one by two to two by two, one by two to one by two brackets here, which are holding this channel of um, uh, uh, panels that are later going to pick up an insert. Uh, which is going to come in and give us a little bit of uh, like a kind of a pop of orange. Okay. And so this unit uh, on t with the four studs here is going to connect in uh, on top of this. Like so. Okay. Then uh, the next bit uh, is here. So uh, this uh, uh, just a bunch of bows uh, into plates. Uh, you can see a series of brackets, uh, a variety of brackets here, uh, catching it underneath and then uh, changing the direction. Uh, there's a little bit of offset work here and this uh, this is a Technic, uh, Technic plate uh, that I've got uh, chromed here uh, that's sitting at the uh, perfect offset to match up uh, later uh, when the big uh, kind of crane lift arm comes in. Okay. And so this unit uh, comes in on top Bunch of different places. Connect this up. The bar is for decoration. This isn't structural. Okay, it begins to look like this. Okay, so then let's do the portion which is going to come forward. And so the end of the prong looks like this. Uh, I left the crane element on. And then uh, that's connecting in uh, to a bunch of uh, plates and slopes. Um, and there are, if you look from below, I'm using uh, plates with clips and then the uh, round tiles with a, bar, with a uh, bar on top to get stud reversals. There's brackets, all kinds of fun stuff happening here uh, to give a nice smooth slope here underneath facing this direction uh, with connection for uh, um, my favorite parts here, this uh, slope with the studs on the edge, on the front. Okay. Uh, and then uh, the blue blocking into white is set up like this. Okay. So uh, into that unit uh, will come uh, this one. So again, the... Um, uh, uh, so there's just a lot of things happening in here. So, so bracket, so 
for these place brackets heading this direction heading this direction uh, using getting a stud reversal on top uh, to project up this blue plate a uh, blue um, cheese slope into the right place which is then a half plate offset uh, from the one underneath it so it's a it gives a nice smooth edge uh, which is cutting down this way and um, uh, and some other things. It's a little bit crazy. And so this, this part uh, will come in uh, on top like this. Okay, so it's connecting in uh, this stud uh, into here. Uh, into this, oh, actually, I want to do like this. Okay. So then into this is this little subassembly. So a couple of panels. Uh, this is a series of bricks, plates. Here in dark azure, uh, underneath uh, this guy is uh, this little unit with the curved plates is to pick up later the the module which will come underneath the um, uh, uh, the series of those uh, projected uh, plates with bars and um, the half pins uh, that we got picked up for texture. So this unit uh, will come in uh, to this one, uh, and it, uh, for the moment uh, connects in on this one stud. Okay. And then into this, we've got these units, which look like so. Okay. They come together. So two of these, and we'll start with this one in the back. I'll take off this off, put it back on. And so you can see uh, connected right. Uh, it's nice smooth connection. Uh, up into this uh, slope, and then the companion one. Yeah. And then we're going to cinch this along the top uh, with a, a, a tile. Okay. And so this entire unit uh, then uh, will connect. Now uh, we'll connect this back in, I believe, uh, like this. Uh, this is this is bringing the uh, connecting the prong itself back into the uh, main frame, uh, and so there's a gazillion of these uh, plate uh, bricks uh, with hinges, um, and the uh, this is the part that's going to sit under the main frame. Uh, it's very strong, and connects up into the uh, into connect to the prong itself, and so the a bunch of these studs are going to line up here. Top. And then here from below. Okay, uh, a couple little finishing things here for that connection. Then a couple of, of uh, wedges on this side. And then just giving us a finishing wedge on the back here. So then this, this entire section and this entire section will come together. Uh, when that happens, uh, there's a unit that needs to be on the inside uh, here. So uh, this is going to be a little bit fiddly to get all set up uh, and in the right spot. But when it comes together, this, the, the uh, presence of this big slope uh, is a, a piece of strength. So we'll come around from the outside, drop this in, uh, connect the crane element here and here. Uh, and then cinch everything up here. All right, I'll do the this bit of the uh, forward swept wing. So uh, this unit, uh, you can see the channel with these gear racks. Uh, there's uh, panels along the top. And then this element, uh, this using some uh, side rotation plates uh, to get this part in underneath these uh, panels at a nice angle. Uh, and it's held in place. Um, it doesn't it just doesn't have anywhere to go. 
it's set up from behind there's plates stacked in just the right spot and connecting up to this on the outer edge just a long series of, of uh, cheese slopes uh, primarily and this will come along like this and then this unit uh, comes up underneath now there's uh, there are two different variations of panels uh, a thin one that one where the the leg or the uh, the bit of the panel is thinner and thicker uh, for this connection it's important to get a slightly older one uh, where it's thicker uh, because that's going to cinch this in um, uh, from below okay. so let's bring the so this is going to connect in uh, on the front, and then in the back, it's going to cinch in between those panels, nice and tight. Uh, and in the back, uh, this, uh, this little uh, plate with the bar uh, comes into a channel we left for it. Nice. All right. A couple finishing things we need to do. So uh, uh, into this channel, uh, and then held and then cinched in nicely by the um, these panels. Uh, put this bit of orange. It's projected at the right angle. There's a plate with a door rail in there. Over on this side, uh, up uh, underneath, uh, here's this unit with the gazillion um, uh, wedge uh, wedge bows, and then we'll just uh, adjust this. Put it into the, just the right spot. Okay. Uh, and then finally, uh, when this uh, fits up against the ship, uh, it's going to be down at an angle, and uh, and then fit up into the body, like under that valence that we built earlier. And so this unit I just installed is uh, going to sit uh, flush with the ship, and then everything else is off. It's about 18 degrees. Okay. So. Now we have the two prongs. Uh, this section with all the jumpers uh, is going to connect in uh, to our frame. Each side. So once, and as we do that, then we can uh, adjust the uh, angle as everything's on those hinges. Okay. This is going to temporarily get a bit uh, front heavy. Good, good, good. And again, just angle. Okay, so uh, now we have the front of the ship.